Hello everyone. My name is Joy Maisel and I work here at the California School for the Deaf Riverside. Now what is so special about today, December 26th? Well, it's this gentleman's birthday. Now who is he, you may ask? His full name is Louis Laurent Marie Claire, or he's known as Laurent Claire. This is his name sign. He's a very significant individual in the deaf community. They all look up to him, and I will explain the reason why. Let me introduce a little bit about him. He was born December 26th, 1785, in a very small town named La Balme, near Paris, France. His father was the mayor of the town. When he was a year old, he was rolling along and there was a fire. He ended up falling into the fire and was severely burned on his cheek and was permanently scarred, which is how he got his name sign. His parents suspected that the fire was the reason for his deafness, also lost his sense of smell. However, years later, in his writings, he felt that it was not because of the fire that he lost his hearing and his sense of smell. There's no proof to it, but he thinks it was he was born that way. Now, he attended a par the Paris school called the Institut National de Jesus de Paris, which is a deaf school in Paris. Now, when he graduated, he became a teacher in the same facility. He taught with two famous Paris individuals, one Abed Sicard, and the other one is Jean Massier, another deaf teacher who was much older than he is, was actually his teacher when he was growing up. So in 1815, they would tend to travel around the country and explain the benefits of deaf education for deaf children and use Laurent Claire as an example. In 1815, he met Thomas Gaudet. Thomas Gaudet was coming from the United States to France to try to figure out how to set up a deaf school. Ran into Laurent Claire and realized this is the program that he wanted to create. So Thomas Gaudet came to the school and decided that there was a bond between him and Laurent Claire and convinced him to join Thomas Gaudet and sail back home to the United States. That was in 1816. During that trip, the two of them taught each other. Thomas Gaudet taught him how to write English and Laurent Claire taught him how to sign uh, the language of, of French sign language. It was a French form of sign language. So it was a three month journey and when they arrived back to North America, it was in Connecticut where they landed and they were able to establish the first permanent deaf school in Hartford, Connecticut. Originally, the name was the Asylum for the Education and Instruction of the Deaf and Dumb. That was founded April 15th of 1917, 1817. Originally, it was in a hotel, and then in 1821, that was moved to an actual school facility where that school still stands to this day. Oh, such an inspiration. Because of him, so many deaf schools have been founded in the United States, and that's thanks to Laurent Claire and Thomas Gaudet. So we have to thank the two of them for the beginning of deaf education in the United States. Now, this figure here is called Flat Laurent, the very flat cardboard figure here. And he has been traveling to different locations, deaf schools and a variety of other locations. And now it's here at CSDR. It's our turn. So we can say hello to Flat Laurent. His great, 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 great grandson, Laurent Claire Holt, named after him, was the one who really was instrumental in making sure that his great, 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 great grandfather was honored. This was started in 2022. This campaign had begun. And the goal is to potentially get 
an actual postage stamp with Laurent Claire's face and name acknowledging it. There's different projects that he has done. Uh, there's a garden that is established uh, in his wife's name. His wife's name is Elizabeth Kroku Bodman. It's actually one of his former students who graduated and they eventually got married. So we do want to honor Laurent Claire. If you have not come to visit, or if he has not come to visit you, please reach out to me. Well, instead of reaching out to me, reach out to Laurent Claire Holt. There is website and information ready to have you contact him, and then we can possibly send him to you next. Let's honor him and thank him. This is the apostle of deaf education, and we have to show much gratitude. 